Hmm. Hello. Chinese culture is something that I understand very well, and I feel I have a very broad perspective on what's been going on for the last couple years, really. And I think both of these pools of knowledge are combining into a perspective that I think you would like to hear. In Chinese, it's called shen xiao, or your zodiac sign. In Chinese, there are 12 year cycles of zodiacs. Let me read them out to you. You should probably be aware of which one you are. So, it goes rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, pig. Pig is last. There's a story, a very long story, very old story, of how it's in this order. And basically, all the animals were in a race together. I don't know all of it because I'm white as fuck, but I do know a couple of them and they're kind of interesting. I'll give you a little taste of it. So, how could the rat, this little animal, be at the beginning? Well, because the rat is tricksy, the rat is smart. The rat rode across the river on the ox's head. It won, even though the dragon can freaking fly. Like, it's a crazy race. I'd love to see that movie. Anyways, we had the year of the pig in 2019. The end of a great cycle, okay? Before that was 2007. Think about that, an end of a cycle. Hmm, I think what happened in 2008. Well, in 2008, we know what happened. In 2020, we know what happened. Those were cycles, okay? That was the year of the rat. Very interesting, year of the rat, 2008. There were the banksters, those ratty banksters, nibbling away at all the cheese. Mm, Wall Street, hmm. China has a lot of involvement in Wall Street, don't they? Hmm. Think about that. Well, year of the rat this year was the year of the plague. It didn't come from a rat, but they say it came from a flying rat in a soup from China. Hmm. I think China's economy would be doing really bad, but actually, in 2020, they're the only one who grew. I think it's around 2%, 2.3% GDP growth. That's pretty impressive in a pandemic that came from them. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we're in 2021. Here's the ox. Okay. I mean, maybe it's China's bull market for bursting on the scene. 2022, you have the tiger. Well, I think what China's going to be doing is it's going to be basically posturing. Posturing its military, expanding out. I really hope this isn't the year that they take Taiwan. Because I live in Taiwan, I'm looking at the Taipei 101 right now. On cold and rainy day. That's actually not raining today, not no, like yesterday. There's ominous clouds floating behind this beautiful azure tower in front of me. Azure is the best way to call it. Yeah. It's like a future Isengard, but a, it's a symbol of the, the last stand of uh, Chinese uh, Republic democracy. It's like a petri dish. It's a real shame if it's gonna go. Hopefully not in 2022. 2023. Here's a rabbit. Play timid. Play smart. Multiply. And then 2024. Oh boy. Year of the dragon. And we all know what the dragon means. If you don't, you have not been paying attention. And you know what? thing about the being in the year of the dragon is they say, you know, the year that you were born in, too, basically, is usually the, um, the worst luck for you. <laughs> I'm kind of looking at the type hit one-on-one and I'm thinking, oh, ew. About that time, time eh, chaps? Right, right up. Ah, oh, oh, motherland! <laughs> We should go down to Australia, but it was fucking But they'll be dead soon. <laughs> fucking kangaroos. But seriously, E-bombs world aside. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe you should like put pictures behind this or something like that. Make it into a video. That'd be kind of cool.